Hi there, Grade 11 learners. Let's now take a look at your PAT for 2024 by looking at phase number one, having an, a bit of an in-depth look at phase one and a few samples as well. So we see for phase one here from the outcomes and focus, what they wanted to be able to do and the focus that goes into phase one. Then we know our topic. And then we go all the way down to what is needed. They wanted a suitable folder structure. They want you to create your planning and summary document structure with the structure of the cover page, the headings. Then they give you the headings. So you use those headings, right? Put that on a clean page, each one on a, on a, on a new page. Um, an addendum as well with a diagram or screenshot showing the folder structure and then another addendum with the declaration of authenticity. Okay, so let's go and have, let's go and have a look here. Let's go down to the rubric. I just want to get there quickly with regards to the first section that we, that we looked at. Okay, so here with the rubric, you can see, remember this is now 32 marks, okay? So the first four marks comes from that folder structure. Do you have the folder structure? Um, do you have electronic or hard copies of all your documents? When they talk about meaningful file and folder names, they just mean the fact that it's actually named like John Smith, grade 11, Pet 2024, right? Uh, names that have actual meaning. So just for doing the folder structure, that's four out of the 32 marks, okay? Then your focus question, have you been given the focus question? Yes, you have. And you just remember, need to, where was it now? Yeah. You just need to change this section based on whichever of these research items you've chosen. Okay. So technically, and I'm going to be very technical about this, that's already seven marks up for grabs out of the 32. Done. Okay, um, let me just do this quickly. Okay, so the next one is the task definition. Now, with the task definition, you need to describe in your own words the intention of the pet. Why are you doing it? What is the focus? How are you going to go about it? Are you using software? Are you going to be using Word, Excel, PowerPoint? What are you going to be doing? Who is it for? Okay. Um, let me use this one. Nope. Let me see if I can get to, to my things over here. just use these ones as an example so phase one yeah this is years ago okay so here we've got one on pollution and the planet and there you can see that even though it's a grade 12 it follows the same format so there's the first document table of contents task definition now have a look at this task definition. In this pet, I'll be discussing pollution. I will focus on the causes, impact, and advantages and disadvantages. The world is filled with pollution, which will impact the lives of generations to come. The purpose, the purpose of this investigation is to find solutions to the problems we are facing. Right? So going through, going through. Uh, in this pet, I will conduct, or supposed to be conduct my information in the form of a questionnaire, survey, a spreadsheet, and a database. It'll conclude a website to report a process uh, findings and recommendations. Okay, so that's what your task definition more or less should look like. <clears throat> Sorry, obviously that's going to depend on the topic you have. It's going to depend on how you use the English language. But ideally that is going to be what it is. So let's go and have a look here. Um, in the learner's own words, Round about half a page or 200 words. Okay, so please, that's another four marks up for grabs. In other words, that's a decent or oh, easy enough 11 marks to get hold of. Then 
questions. Here we go. Questions to guide your research. Where did we see this? Where did we see this? Let's go there. Questions to guide your research. And what did they say about these questions? They've given us a whole list of questions. We are allowed to use eight of them. Granted, we need to reword them. So please, if you use what is e-waste, then you have to reword that. Define e-waste. Right? Explain the term e-waste. Uh, you must add two questions of your own. So when we go down here and you're busy with your 10 questions, eight of them you've already been given, just reword them and then add another two. They must be on three different levels. So there's factual, closed, investigate, explore, predict, change. Guys, you'll have to read through that um, to make sure that you, they are on three different levels and it's a, a variety of questions. Then... The technical aspects with regards to those 10. Have you included all 10 questions? Have you organized them under appropriate headings? Now remember, if you use this table, then that's what you will already have in place. Different categories, different questions, different question levels. That's all they, they're really asking for. Then the information, the sources. I explained this in the previous video where I said, if you're asking what is e-waste, and you're saying that's a level one question, and that's under defining e-waste as a category, then where are you going to get the information? Maybe the internet. And you're going to put the link of the website you used, and you're going to summarize the information that you found within like two or three sentences. And then the quality of the information found, you're going to say it's of good quality, bad quality, it's biased, it's, you know, it's not reliable, whatever the case may be. That actually means you have to read right? Um, sources. So you must have three sources. In other words, of the 10 questions, nine of those questions can be, you can indicate that you're getting an answer from the internet. One of them must be from a different source, your textbook, a magazine, newspaper, brochure, whatever the case is. And then you need to evaluate that information as well okay um, and then the summary that i spoke about and that's how you get your 32 marks that's it for phase one so let me just go through here there's the task definition this one had the focus question over there you'll see these headings are each on a new page questions and sources table um okay this was yeah like didn't get much marks for that then the discussion and analysis the findings, just going to go through a copy of the question here. Okay, you don't need all of this for phase one, but there is where the individual broke it down. The questions, the source, the level, and the bibliography as well. So you can see it's changed, and here's the screenshot of the folder structure. Here we go. This was more the end. So please, for phase one, I'm just going to go through it one more time. You need to have the folder structure. You need to have your document. Your document will have a cover page, these headings with two addendums, because one addendum, addendum is for the screenshot of the folder structure. The other one is of the declaration of authenticity, which is at the bottom of this document. You then create your task definition under the heading task definition. You put in a table of contents, you've got your focus question, and then you're going to create a table like this that can house 10 questions, and you're going to put your questions in here. So those questions will be under this heading questions. And guys, that's it. That's all you need to know um, and what you expected to do for phase one of your grade 11 2024 PET.